No doubt all the kids are going to be talking about what happened here off school grounds yesterday. Grief counselors and extra police officers expected to be here when classes resume at 920 this morning, a scheduled two hour late start. I want to get to some brand new video that we just got into the newsroom this morning. If we can, we took the audio off because there are some expletives. But this appears to be, according to a student who sent us this video this morning, appears to be moments before, perhaps after, we're working on the timing here, about the time when this shooting occurred off of campus. And the reason why this is significant is because that uh, green Chevy Impala there, that green vehicle in the middle of your screen, matches the description of what police are telling us is a vehicle in question. So again, this video appears to show, and we can't see any faces here, appears to show some of the moments surrounding the timing of the shooting. We want you to know at home that we have been working to get this now to the Pierce County Sheriff's Office. We don't think they have this yet. This could be very significant for their investigation, so we want to make sure that first and foremost is something that we do this morning. But some brand new video there this morning helping to piece all of this together. I also want to get this morning to some uh, pictures released by the Sheriff's Office showing that car. They gave us this video last night trying to help us track down the suspects. Two remaining suspects, as you just noticed, uh, described as black males in this green Chevy Impala speeding from the scene. Police believe they are not from this area. So how did all this start? At about 3 o'clock yesterday, investigators say two 16-year-old students were shot just off of school grounds after some kind of fight, but managed to get back onto campus for help. One was found near a parking lot, another in a locker room. They're both expected to survive this morning, but all of this prompted a lockdown of four schools in the area. It's a scary time for parents who could not get to their children because of the lockdown. They were kept outside until about 430 when students were finally outside and lockdown was lifted. Leah Baker was one parent who talked to her son, James, over cell phone. You know, I knew he wasn't one of the kids that were shot. I pray for them and their parents, but it was still until I had actual eyes on him. It was still scary. I was actually kind of calm because we're been trained since like middle really early on to know what to do. Again, the training there kicked in, according to that student. So here are those two suspects this morning. Police are looking for these two thought to be living outside of this area, but somehow they say connected to the shooting here at Graham Kapowson High School yesterday. If you recognize them or know anything, you're asked to call the sheriff's office or police. Investigators are looking into whether this is all gang related. One other important thing to note here this morning, the family last night of one of these 16 year olds who was shot told our Natalie Swaby that his brother is not involved in gangs at all. A mother of one of the victims on Facebook this morning is also talking about her son not being involved in gangs. She wants the public to know he was a good boy and an innocent bystander. So a lot of questions here this morning as police search for those two individuals they think were connected to the shooting here at the school yesterday.